Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honorine. I have a prophetic word for someone. God says, be careful, you might lose it. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. God says you have reversed the equation, and you are seeking every other thing. You are putting your marriage first before God. You are putting that business first before God. You are putting that job first before God. God says whatever you put before him, you might lose it. We've forgotten, you've forgotten so soon how you were praying and trusting God for a miracle job, for a miracle opportunity, for a, for a kingdom spouse. Now God granted you the marriage and that marriage, that same, that testimony of yesterday is now taking you away from God. God says, repent now and come back to him or else you will lose it. God says, repent now and come back to him or else you will lose it or else he will take that thing away from you or else he will take that marriage away or else he will take that thing away. The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis, after Abraham had believed God for a child for many years or more than he was at the age of a hundred when he gave birth to Isaac. When he finally had Isaac. And I believe that after having Isaac, he began to be full, to be so fond of Isaac. He became so fond of Isaac that he, that he valued Isaac more than he valued God. I believe that that was the reason why God, uh, God appeared to him and told him to offer that child as a sacrifice. God says, in other words, this child that you trusted me for, this child that you prayed for, that you believe for, that well, that is a miracle child. This child is beginning to occupy your my my place in your life. So I've got to take this child away. You've got to bring him back to me. You've got to offer this child as a sacrifice back to me. And Abraham had to offer the child as a sacrifice. And before you say God stopped him, what God intended actually happened. God's plan was not just was not to kill the child, but so that the was so that God would restore, would gain back his place in, in Abraham's heart. So before Abraham could physically have to kill the child, the child died first in his heart. So sometimes God would place a demand, not because. He wants to kill you or he wants to see you miserable. But because he wants to do more in your life. He wants to do more in your life. And then, but unfortunately, what you are doing with what he has already given you is discouraging him from doing more. God doesn't just want to bless you. He wants you to become a blessing. But the problem is that your, your previous testimony, your previous blessing, him just blessing you has taken you away from him. So how will he then make you a blessing to the world? So God threatening to take that blessing away from you is not because he is wicked. It's because he has more to give you. But you are not managing the little that he gave you first well. So he is threatening. If you don't repent... And come back to him. And learn how to be a good steward. God might just take away that blessing. He might just take away your finances. He might just take away your marriage. He might just take away that job. What is it that you are putting before God? Repent now. Otherwise, you will lose it. God bless you. Shalom.